Faith, the Wing Saga is adopted from Nickelodeon cartoon The Wings Club, which ran for eight seasons. Season one on Netflix centers around a fire fairy that's Bloom, who left the human world to Alfea, that's a school for fairies. She embarks on a journey to find out who her real parents are, and she forms a tight group for fairies, who are Musa, who is a mind fairy, Terra, who is an earth fairy, Aisha, who is a water fairy, and Stella, who is a light fairy. I like the storyline because even though they were fairies, they did something which are human. They were partying, clubbing, drinking, cocaine and everything. I liked it that, see, they made it teenagery. They made it realistic to us, even though they were fairies. When, when I read the synopsis and it said fairies, I thought they were going to have wings and all that. This thing Cabell is, but I watched it and there was no one with wings. So I was really happy that went off. So there were some character replacements looking at the cartoon and the series on Netflix, I'm like, okay, so if they should replace this character and the brother's character, example was Musa, who is a mind fairy, but in Netflix season, she's an empath. It's an empath a fairy, because empaths are mostly witches. But anyway, that was it in the series. So I liked that part that they really changed certain things, which was okay, but I really get it that they had to, right? But there were a few things in it that didn't quite stay with me, you know, because Bloom came to the school that she doesn't know how to control her powers, she doesn't know anything about her powers, she doesn't know how to even start her powers. Then along the line, I think episode 4, we, we could see her just magically doing certain things with her powers. She could just, you know, fire power, do, it, do all sorts of tricks, whilst her, her friends, especially Aisha, who was also a successful water bender or water fairy, she had a little trouble with her water powers. So I'm like, ah, okay, Bloom, you came to the school in episode one, you don't have any power, you couldn't control it. Then all of a sudden, boom, you are all magical, controlling your horse and all that. That side was, it was a really, it was knockout for me. You know, I didn't enjoy that part. I didn't enjoy that part. Also, I, I, I didn't understand the role of a specialist. Like, I don't understand. Specialist, you don't have any power. There's nothing that could, you know, set you apart. You just have skills, you, you just have your fighting power. So why are you in Alfia? Should, shouldn't you be in a, any, maybe a school of art or something? Because in the cartoon, the specialists weren't in the same school as the fairy. They're also in a separate school. So maybe that didn't sit right with me because specialists, what is your role? But maybe I may come back with another video explaining why specialists were in Alfia. Maybe, it's a maybe, okay? Even though Ben said fairies and specialists are supposed to work together to fight the burned ones, but we saw Bloom defeat a couple of burned ones flawlessly. She did it all her by herself, no specialists. So, once again, what, what is the role of specialists in the Wing Saga? If you know, please tell me, okay? Last but not least, the transformation Bloom did at the ending where she got this whole wings and thing like Tinkerbell. Uh, I wasn't really happy with that side. I wasn't happy. It felt a knockoff to me. It was whack. I had, like seriously, it was really whack. I didn't enjoy that part. <laughs> that part was, I don't know, should I say, they failed to do the camera trick well. Because if you watch the cartoon, she changed wings, changed her dress and everything, you know, like this Barbie stuff do. When it, want their magic power, their dress also changed, which happened in the cartoon. But in the series, it didn't happen. But that scene where she was changing, to me, it felt completely whack. I didn't like it. It was a whack off. But I liked the ending. You know, the ending gave me some, you know, some setup. Like, yo, I'm waiting for season two. Man, this is crazy. I liked it. So I'm waiting for season two. But that's if Netflix says, oh, we will re renew season two. Hopefully by the Ending of March, we should get an announcement if they will renew it and if not. But if they should, I'll be back again to give you a review on that, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe, like, comment and share, okay? Let's go this community together. Before I go, if you a girl, you have a perm hair or you want to know how to grow your followers on Instagram and on YouTube, I want you guys to look at this girl's page. She's Miss Ajele, okay? Look at her page, subscribe to her channel and watch her video. she give you amazing tips and stuff. Until then, it's Steve Wells, Kojo Reviews. Subscribe for more.